Hello friends and family and welcome to the Monday edition of the Crippling Anxiety uh, Fireside Chat. <laughs> and um, appropriate for Monday, I wanted to talk about uh, growing your meditation practice and how it's very much like growing a running practice. So uh, after coming to Jammu, we decided that we would try to reboot our running regime. We had one before, which sort of culminated in a half marathon, and we were both very proud of ourselves, and then it sort of died off. Um, and I think everyone is familiar with this routine uh, for gyms and for um, practicing a skill or meditating or anything else. Um, It, it has been a question uh, regarding meditation, how to grow uh, one's meditation practice. So if you begin with five minutes or 10 minutes, how can you grow the length of time that you meditate um, so that you can progress your way to meditating for half an hour or a full hour um, every day? And I actually think that this process, if you're doing it on your own, will be very similar to the process used in running. And that is to say that you start with very, very small increments and you grow steadily and consistently. So in our running, uh, after such a long time of not running, we went back to uh, running five minutes to start with, <laughs> running 10 minutes, running 15 minutes to begin with. And that's perfectly okay. And um, as we get more accustomed to running for longer and longer periods of time, uh, we will find a comfortable um, seat in the practice of running. So it will become kind of routine Everyone sort of knows this about habit forming, that it takes two, three, or four weeks to really solidify a habit, and that you have these sort of three um, divisions of your development of a habit. So initially, it's painful, and it's unpleasant, and you will hate it. And then in the middle, it starts to feel not so bad. And then by the end of developing a habit after a month or maybe two, depending on what habit you're developing, um, it actually starts to feel good. And it even becomes a part of your identity and a full part of your routine. And uh, running is definitely like that. We, we know this for a fact that when you first start with running, you're forcing yourself. You're waking up an hour early and not loving it, and you're not particularly excited to get out there and get all sweaty um, and have your legs hurt and run out of breath and everything else. And meditation is similar in the beginning. We sit down to meditate and we have all these expectations of meditation the way that we have expectations of running. So we hear about running, oh, the runner's high and all the endorphins and these sorts of things, which of course take a long time to get to. I'm not even sure I've ever really known those aspects of running. Um, but with meditation, we have all these adjectives, right? Um, as blissful and uh, peaceful and everything else. And initially, meditation tends to be disorganized and obnoxious and our brain is running in all directions and we feel more out of control than we even do normally. And in many respects, sitting down to meditate those first uh, couple of weeks can be even more unpleasant than our regular wandering mind and um, unsatisfied mind. But over time, it begins to calm down. And like we find a seat in running, we find a rhythm in running, we find a rhythm for meditation. So 
it's not as though all the thoughts go away, but the thoughts will calm down, will become more accustomed to being attacked by our own thoughts as we sit down to meditate and we're like, oh, okay, I know this routine. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, come at me thoughts and we'll, we'll take however long it takes to sort you out and then we'll kind of move on into the calmer parts of meditation. And with running, we're increasing the amount of time or the distance that we're running by tiny increments. So each week we add one minute, right? So you're going from uh, 15 minutes of running in five minute chunks to uh, 21 minutes of running in seven minute chunks. And that's a perfectly reasonable way to increment running and it's a perfectly reasonable way to increment your meditation. So if you begin with 10 minutes of meditation, don't assume that in your second week or third week, you're, you will necessarily jump up to 20 minutes of meditation. Um, try 22 minutes, sorry, try 12 minutes. <laughs> um, begin with a small increment and see how that feels. Because sometimes uh, I usually meditate one or two hours a day, but uh, sometimes I will sit down to meditate for 10 minutes and it still feels like an eternity. So it's often quite difficult to make those large jumps from 10 minutes to 20 minutes or 20 minutes to 30 minutes. So you can begin with small increments and um, be very gentle with yourself and with your meditation practice. I hope that this has been helpful and I hope that you have an enjoyable Monday ahead of you. Um, please take care of yourselves, take care of your families. We love you very much and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye.